Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at how do we use Laplace transforms in order to solve second order differential equations. And this is just going to be an overview of what we're going to be doing. So, in the past, we would have a differential equation and we'd have different methods of solving it. We had first order differential equations as well as second order. The first order you would have either direct integration or it would be a separable differential equation and so on. With the second order differential equation so far we've looked at the method of undetermined coefficient so you would have your differential equation and then you would find your solution for that equation. What we're going to do now is going to be slightly different. We're going to start off with our differential equation and we are going to convert it into a set of algebraic equations using the Laplace transform. And what you're going to be doing is you are effectively going to be taking it from the time domain into your frequency domain. So the time domain is where t is your variable and your frequency domain is where s is going to be your variable. Once you have your algebraic equations, you convert that into, or you find the solution for the algebraic equations. And that is still going to keep you, keep you in the frequency domain. Once we are com we've got our solution for the algebraic equations, we then use inverse Laplace transforms in order to take it back into our time domain and that will give us the solution for our differential equations and that's basically what we're going to be learning and we're going to be doing it in parts so first we're going to learn how to find the Laplace transform so moving from time domain into frequency domain so the form of your differential equation will be changed from time domain to frequency domain so we'll do that part first and then we're going to learn how to do the inverse Laplace transform. So taking your function and changing the form from your frequency domain into your time domain. Once we've done that, we're going to put everything together. So using the Laplace transform, finding the solution to the algebraic equations, then looking for the inverse Laplace transform to find the solution of the differential equations. So we're going to put all of those together into one problem. So let's start with the Laplace transform, then move into the inverse Laplace transform. <laughs> 